All right, up next, Peter Schiff is the author of Crash Proof, how, the, how to profit from the coming economic collapse. So, Peter, uh, first off, I want you to respond to what the state senator had to say about maybe some federal money going to this problem. What do you think? Well, I think that's just going to make the situation worse. And, and first of all, the problem is these people who own uh, subprime mortgages, uh, most of them were not preyed upon victims. They actively sought those mortgages out. It was the only way that they can afford to pay inflated home prices. That's the, basically the problem. Home prices in the bubble got too high and they're going to collapse. All right. So I know you say we're too late to do anything at all about it. We got to just bring on the recession. People have to, you know, lose their houses in mass for this to cycle through the system. That's your solution? Well, it's not, you know, not a solution. This is the problem. I mean, people overpaid for houses. They bought houses that they couldn't afford. They deliberately committed to make payments on mortgages they couldn't afford because they were speculating on housing price appreciation. But no one's going to be homeless. There's plenty of vacant houses out there to rent. I think people are already homeless. No. We're hearing from people <laughs> who have lost their homes and they're very unhappy. Let me get you to mm -hmm. how you think this is going to work out because you actually forecast all of this in your book. That's true. You said ahead of time that there was going to be a credit crunch that was going to explode this economy. And now, right now, you are one of the few folks saying we're headed for recession. How long? How deep? Well, it's going to be substantial. Because remember, our economy, uh, ever since the bursting of the dot-com bubble, has been based on excessive consumer spending. And that's all been a function of these artificially high real estate prices and temporarily low mortgage payments. It freed up a lot of extra consumption. People thought they had a lot of wealth. A lot of people um, you know, were wrong. They thought a house that you live in was an investment. They expected it to appreciate. We know that millions of people are going to be in foreclosure over the coming year. It's going to be very painful. So tell me, what happens? How long does it take to work its way through the system? What are the baby steps that will bring us out of it? Well, you know, ultimately the market is going to purge all these lax lending standards uh, out of the system. We're going to go back to people needing a 20% down payment, people needing a fixed rate mortgage. But none of this can happen without housing prices collapsing. So even people who are prime borrowers, who, who have nothing to do with subprime, they're still going to see the value of their house collapse. And all the equity that they thought they have accumulated over the past seven or eight years, it's all going to vanish. That's that's what you believe, a do-nothing approach from government. Isn't that what we've had for the last no. several Remember, years? Remember, this, this is all the byproduct of what Alan Greenspan did. First, he blew up the bubble in the technology stocks. Then he blew up the housing bubble. I mean, he spiked uh, the punch bowl. All Wall Street did was serve it up. But they're the ones that came up with the dot-coms. They came up with these securitized mortgage products. But it's all a function of the Fed and the excessive creation of money. So it's blame the, government the that Federal Reserve. Is the government is the main responsibility, then okay. Wall Street. But we need to let the free market work it out. If the government gets in, it's just going to make the situation worse. You have questions. We have answers. Real solutions to your credit crunch questions coming up next. 